What's up, everybody? Welcome to Heavy Metal Hot Sauce. Back with Randy and Kevin. Let's do this. Yo. And today we um, are finally trying Burns and McCoy. Sweet hat. <laughs> Dever Random. Awesome label. Um, Jay always has got the coolest labels on his, like, super hot sauces. Um, Excaresco, the Excubiarum, my personal favorite. <laughs> Pretty good stuff. Um, yeah, the Exidium. I mean, all of those. I don't know if I say that right, but they got the coolest labels, and he's got awesome, unique flavors on those. And from everything I've heard, this one has a two. So I'm really looking forward to this. It's supposed to be a pretty hot one. Super cool label. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. everybody's gotta love that. And he yeah. he makes these shirts, so he gotta get these shirts. Uh, yeah. yeah, that's sick. <laughs> I got the X Scooby Arm shirt, of course. <laughs> so, so this was voted for. Yes. By our friends and fans. Yes, thank you everybody who <laughs> participated in that. Yeah. Um, we're gonna probably do that more often. So uh, we want to see what you guys want to see. Participation next. going. Yeah. yeah. More interaction with friends. Yeah. So. This is what we voted on, and uh, so we're trying it now. All right, Deborah Random. We created this sauce with meats in mind, taking the scorpion and reaper peppers and blending them with fresh shallots, cane syrup, tart cherries, copious amounts of black peppercorn, and the right <laughs> balance of sweet and tart, which obviously you gotta have the right balance of that. Use this sauce on red meats, chicken, uh, vegan foods, fish tacos, uh, salmon, roasts, and potatoes. This sauce is quite versatile in its applications. Warning, extremely hot. <laughs> yeah, I mean, everything I've heard about this from people saying like, yeah, this is a meat sauce. Marinating, Marinade. just what, you know, like, man. It's really thin looking, yeah. so I think it like, soak up into the meat really well. Oh, yeah. Some beef jerky. So yeah. ingredients, we got scorpion peppers, reaper peppers, yeah, I mean, those two first ones, <laughs> that's gonna be hot. Um, tart cherries, that sounds awesome. Rice vinegar, tart cherry juice, fresh shallots, uh, ruby port wine. Hmm. Orange blossom honey, that's, uh, that's pretty interesting. Pure cane syrup, cherries, um, fresh lemon juice, sea salt, fresh orange juice, and this, I've never heard of this peppercorn, but black lampong peppercorns. Never heard of those. Interesting. So yeah, that's crazy ingredients. Sounds place. pretty awesome. Um, no perforated label. I'm gonna cut myself. Oh. Whoa. You like that style? <laughs> that, that was, was actually like really that. Cool. Yeah. I didn't. I what would, a show. I would still what prefer a, a perforated label, but that <laughs> was pretty Great cool. Great performance. <laughs> but yeah, like they were saying, it's um, definitely on the thinner side from some of his other sauces. Like Excubiarum, that one's pretty thick. Um, I, really like the color. I really like the color. Yeah, it's got a nice like a deep dark, red. Deep red, yeah. Like, it just looks like it belongs on meats. Okay. Okay. Hmm. 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 I think I can smell that wine in there. Definitely, and the the, cher the cherries and the wine, like, is what gets me away. I anyway. personally have not liked many sauces with wine in it for some reason. Like the like the the wine vinegars. Yeah, I don't. Uh, it's well, just a personal thing, but yeah, it's uh, yeah. I mean, that's I can pick up a slight booziness to it, you know. So it's definitely picking up some. Smells more. hot. Very slight. A lot of spices um, going on in there. Yeah. It's got a good pour. Seeing it's got that thinner consistency, that pours so well. Probably have to be a little careful because it's probably gonna come out. It still quick. has some chunks in it. Yep. Yeah, on the spoon, I can pick up the wine more a little bit. Yeah, 
it's, it's 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 definitely different. You know, I'm not used to it, but it, it's it's kind of sophisticated in a way, mm -hmm. you know. But then you know that that goes along with all his sauces. He's he's just doing these next level things. So yeah, for sure, gourmet sauces, man. I mean, that's how you do it. All right, guys, never random. Cheers. Wow. Okay. Hmm. Some hard chunks mm. in there. Yeah. Good. Sweet, sweet right away. Balance. Yeah. yeah. The sweet, but then the heat comes pretty quick. Rolls in real slowly. Yeah. Smooth. Hmm. Very smooth. Yeah. Now it's not too sweet. It's not overly tart. No, it's a, it's a great. That's a great balance wow. between the sweet and the tart. Yeah, that's tasty. Yeah, I'm not really tasting the wine, so no. I, I'm liking that. It is wow. Uh, it's really it's really tough to say. It's not going too radically uh, to any certain flavor. It's really well balanced. It's like they said. It see it tastes like it's gonna be pretty versatile. Like yeah, it can go on a bunch of stuff. It's gonna add a good amount of heat. Awesome Definitely marinade. a good amount of heat. That yeah. marinade idea will be really good. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's got good heat to it. It's still building for me. Yeah, yeah. the heat. I mean, I just took a little little bit on the nice. spoon. We haven't done a like, really hot like sauce, hot sauce in a while. Yeah, yes, so. finally. I'd say mm. for heat for me, it, you know, if I, were, if I were to take down a little more, it's going to be pretty high. I'm going to probably go around a six or seven. Like, this is not going to be, I don't see, you know. The average mm -hmm. person. I give it. I give that one a five for me. Which yeah, it's pretty good. I haven't been throwing up numbers like that. In it, a did, while. It, it it did me up to about. Uh, I'll give it about start feeling six. Feel I didn't do a full sweat. spoon, about a half a spoonful, and if I did a full spoon, I think I'd be at about six. Yeah, I can feel it attacking my tongue pretty good. It's my tongue got on my lips a little bit, mm. roof of my mouth. It's not attacking the throat. No. That's nice. Yeah, overall, awesome, awesome heat that actually goes with some great flavor. Mm -hmm. So that's awesome. You can I find forgot, it's got all those cherries in there. I don't really taste the cherries. Yeah, I, I got the sweet and I the tart it, of the cherries. Yeah, it adds the sweetness, but yeah. it doesn't. It doesn't make it a cherry sauce. No, like no. Cherry yeah, it doesn't. All. Oh, it's just so cherry. Yeah, the cherries. All they really did that was kind of serve that sweetness and tartness. Turned yeah. it into something it else. Was used, That's cool. It's it a was good used balancing correctly. tool. Yeah. Good balancing tool. Very nice. Yeah. Wow. So I mean for me overall, this is definitely a winner. Um I'm gonna go with four horns on this one. That's easy. It's an easy four for me as well. Yeah. Definitely. It's uh it's up there. I don't I'm not gonna do decibels often, but for this <laughs> one I am. Four and a half horns. Wow. I, that's up there. I like that. Alright. So that's a big favorite for this guy. I like that. <laughs> this is about one of the only other um, Burns McCoys that I have not had. I got two more on the way that I ordered. <clears throat> um, his Mango Habanero and the um, Gold 79. Looking forward to trying those out. Um, let's keep an eye out for that. And definitely will be doing a video on my all-time favorite, ex Scooby Arum. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be an easy video for me because I already know. And everybody that knows me knows. So. Trying to think of a giveaway also. Yeah, We're giveaway will be coming up. Working on ideas yet. Yeah. So keep an eye out for that. Lots of cool stuff coming up. Also keep an eye on Burns McCoy. He's got he's got some cool stuff up under his sleeve coming out, so. Jay yeah. Jay's the man. <laughs> he's yeah. doing it so good. Yeah. <laughs> keep doing what you're doing, man. Uh, I thought this was a really awesome one, very tasty. And if you guys enjoyed it, definitely give us a thumbs up. Let us know what you thought. Uh, if you're new around here, go ahead and subscribe, check out some more of our stuff, and uh, yeah, we'll have a good time together. And always, keep that hot and heavy.